Thanks. Okay, tell us what it is. What, how does zero G work first? So let's get to the basics. Yeah, so we're using kind of a conventional aircraft, which is an Airbus aircraft that is being modified in order to do parabolic flight. Now, tell what do. is a parabolic? That's going up and down. Yeah? yeah, it's going up and down. We accelerate so people get a bit of G's, 1.8. Then we go up to the top of a parabola where the aircraft doesn't have much thrust, and then it starts to go down. And during 20 to 22 seconds, people feel no gravity or less gravity. As you go down and lose. As we go down, so and that's then we, we get some there. more speed. Yes, indeed, yes. So 45% nose high, then 45% nose low. And yeah. now the whole thing takes, what, over a minute? Yeah, it's over a minute for the one parabola. Uh, the overall flight is roughly 100 minutes, because we need to go to a specific spot where we can do these maneuvers. Uh, and we're doing 20. Uh, 20 seconds of zero gravity 15 times uh, during one session, during one flight. Okay, so typically where would you go if you are flying from Singapore and you had to go somewhere, where would you be uh, operating? Oh, you, pick, you picked one of the most difficult because the Singaporean airspace is small. <laughs> uh, so normally we would book, uh, re reserve an airspace which is the shape of a triangle, so five parabola, five and five. Uh, okay. you know, that's what we would do in most locations over the sea. Uh, Singapore, it's a very, very tiny airspace, same with Hong Kong, so they're going to block us a corridor rather than a triangle, and we're going to do this you know, back and forth for, for, an, for an hour and a half or two hours of flight. Okay, well, this is what I suppose it looks like you, you yeah. use it all. I, I mean, do people get sick? Because, I mean, we have the NASA so-called vomit comet, don't we? Yeah, actually, you can't guarantee people, against people it. got sick in the vomit comet. That's yeah. where the name came from. But uh, the difference is this was made for space professional. And space professional astronauts in training or space doctor you know, do 60 or 70 parabolas during a flight. 15 is okay. You know, if we go beyond that, 20, 25, yeah, people can get very sick. Uh, and uh, that's not something we're going to do. How does the experience compared to that one? Um, one thing that we're doing, uh, working with Airbus, is that the parabola will be much more precise than anything that has been done before because it's going to be electrically driven, uh, fly by wire, so no manual command. Pilot will still play a role, but less than before. So precise parabola, uh, smoother rides, if you wish, and only 15 parabolas so that everybody can enjoy it. Oh, okay. Uh, and, okay, then let's, let's get to the, the nitty gritty, yeah. which is it ain't cheap. Yeah, you know, you know, space for all. That's why we say, you know, we want people to experience this. We want people you know, to I, go I, to space eventually. But yeah, you know, not I mean, it's a downside can cheaper pay. than going to space, of yeah, course. But yeah. it's still quite expensive yeah. for 100 minutes of going up and down. I think we're talking what 5,000. Oh, euros? we start with 2,000 euros. That's that's um, the cheapest option, which, which is the cheapest option for S3 and the cheapest uh, zero G option available in the world. And yes, you will so get 15 parabolas. Without. And you get 15 parabolas and 5,000 euro for for premium and for the VIP passenger. Okay, so what is that? Yeah. I mean, is that a different class you're in, or what happens exactly? Uh, more or less. I mean, the VIP, there's a VIP room that can cater for 10 or 12 people. You know, it's so it's not the whole aircraft living. is not no, open. The, the aircraft is separated in three zones. There's a VIP room that works really well for corporations uh, and families and friends. Uh, there's but the experience is going to be the same. It's not like yeah, you're getting it's more comfortable be the same. sofas or It's going to be the same, but we may, we may have some activities in some of the zones that may be different from one zone to the other. And the price difference is mainly because our sponsor, Brightling, is, uh, is, is, is offering or is including in the price uh, a, a watch, uh, timepiece, limited edition, not available in retail stores, S3 Zero G Brightling timepiece. Okay, and you would get that in, in the VIP? You get that in a VIP and the premium and paying 5,000 euro instead of 2,000 euro. And it's basically the boarding pass for these passengers, yeah. Oh, really? That's, good. That's quite cool. That, the thing is, so you, what do you get if you pay the 2,000 euro fare? If you pay the 2,000 euro... You get to keep your suit, don't you? you? No, 2,000 euro, you can't, you can't keep the suit. You uh, can't keep and, anything. But you, you can, yeah, you can't keep. You just have the experience. You have pictures and you have videos. Uh, for 5,000 euro, you keep the watch, you keep the suit, and there will be other goodies. How much uh, would that watch retail for uh, in the store? Oh, you this, could buy it. You know, we would have to ask Breitling. I'm not sure they want to tell you, but I think, <laughs> no. you know, 5,000 euro, it's a, it's a very nice watch, a black titanium, a limited edition, so definitely it's worth even the 5,000 euro that people will be paying uh, for. Okay, I mean, have you market, are you marketing this already? And if we're so... Not, we're not marketing it. Uh, we're doing a bit but of But you're here PR. on the program. We're giving it a plug. Yeah, 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 it's an opportunity yeah. because here, actually, we're meeting some of our sponsors, partners, investors, mm -hmm. uh, but we're not officially marketing it. Actually, Breitling is doing a good job marketing the watch. So, you know, eventually marketing our own experience, but we're going to start marketing it mid-mid of September once, uh, you know, we're closer to the, to the launch date. What's the 
overall reaction like from the run-up to that, even the beginning of that? Uh, it's very, very interesting. I mean, some destination, even if we haven't started marketing it, we already kind of sold out. Uh, you know, Switzerland, in some places in Asia, uh, there are people calling us from countries that we have not planned, saying, we want you to come yes. to my country, and I'm going to underwrite two flights or three flights. I'm going to sponsor them, but please come to my country. So it's pretty nice. I think 25% is already pre-booked pre or pre-sold.